Welcome everyone to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Gurg. I'm having three plus years of work experience. I have worked on Red Hat, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python and Bash scripting. You can reach out to us on ITES Fun Facebook page or you can reach out to me on Instagram at B underscore limitless or you can follow me on LinkedIn by Prince hyphen Gurg hyphen ITES or you can visit our website itesfun.com. Welcome back everyone to decode ITES in the virtualization learning series. In this lesson, we will cover up ESXi VM disk provisioning. I will also tell you what are the types of uh, disks for VMware uh, ESXi. Let's continue. So what is disk provisioning in VMware? Whenever we create or provision a VMware virtual machine, VMware machine data is stored inside a virtual hard disk. It is a virtual construct representing a physical disk. We can say virtual hard drive files are attached normally to a virtual machine and do function as system or data drives for the VM. Within the VMware vSphere, we are having two primary types of virtual hard disk, thin provisioning and thick provisioning. If we look out the thick provisioning hard disk, we are having two allocation models, lazy Z load and EJ Z load. We will discuss this later. So what are thin provision disks? These can be done on the virtual disk level. So per disk thin provisioning or you uh, at the storage array level. It allows us to provision a disk without fully allocating all the necessary underlying physical storage. New storage blocks are allocated and zeroed on the fly as the data is written by the guest. When we provision a 100 GB thin provision hard disk and store 1 gigs of data on it, we will physically consume just 1 GB. This allows for over provisioning of a storage in which you can provision more virtual storage than there is real physical capacity available. This can be very efficient, but physical storage consumption needs to be closely monitored to prevent the physical storage array from running out of disk space. The advantages of thin provisioning disks are fastest creation time than if you compare to thick provision disks. And also it allows for over provisioning of a storage. If you are having one terabyte of total storage, you can create virtual machines for uh, let's say two terabytes of storage. But they can consume uh, in a total of one terabyte only. If it go, goes above like uh, 1.1 terabyte it will fail and your machines will stop working so this is always suggested to get a close monitor on it what are the disadvantages highest performance penalty on first write that is the block needs to be allocated and zeroed storage capacity management needs to be in place to stay as we have already discussed Now we are having thick lazy Z load, the first type of thick provisioning. As opposed to thin provision disk, thick provisioning disk allocate all the physical disk space on the creation of virtual hard disk. A hundred gigs of virtual hard disk will consume hundred gigs of physical storage and do not wipe the allocated storage clean beforehand. With each first write, the storage block first need to be Z load this adds some storage latency because there is additional input output required. The advantages are like fastest creation time and all the space is allocated upfront. The disadvantages are performance penalty on first write that block needs to be zeroed. It does not allow for over provisioning of storage as it's consuming 
all the space in the front. Thick EJZ load. These discs also allocate all the physical disk space and zero out all the storage blocks beforehand. This disk type offers the best possible storage performance but is more inefficient and takes longer to provision. The advantages are highest performance, no performance penalty on the first write creation time. All the space is allocated up front and all blocks are zeroed in advance to avoid the latency. Then we come with more secure option like all the blocks are zeroed in advance so there is no latency as we have already discussed. If we look out the disadvantages, it's having the longest creation time and does not allow for over provisioning of a storage. Only thin provisioning can allow this. Now, what are the difference between uh, thick and thin provisioning disks? So if we take a look at the uh, figure we have already mentioned over there, if we provide thick provisioning of any VM, we first need to estimate how much of a storage space for the virtual machine will need for its entire life cycle. Then we provide a fixed amount of storage space to its virtual disk in advance. Since thick disks will immediately occupy the entire provisioned space like 40 GB we can see. However, thin disk provisioning commits only as much storage space as the disk need for its initial operations. Example, if we allocate um, uh, like 40 GB of storage and 20 GB is used, then the remaining space can be used for another VM. Further, if the disk require more space, it can go into its entire 40 GB provisioned space. Okay, so now we come with the difference between thick provisioned EZ0 disk and thick provisioned lazy zero disks. You can look out the diagram and for example, if we create and allocate 40 GB of hard disk space, lazy zero disk occupies the entire space of disk and the blocks containing older data on the storage device are only cleared when the virtual machine writes new data to the disk for the first time. But EJ zero disk also occupies the entire space of the disk, but the blocks on the physical storage device are formatted with zeros at the time of hard disk provisioning itself to overwrite any older data. So I hope uh, like you had an overview of the types of disks. If we talk in the layman language and take a quick comparison, then we can say that the creation time is fastest in the thin provision storage. Then we have the lazy zero and the slowest is the EJ0. The performance penalty is highest on the thin provisioning, normal on the lazy zero, and uh, there is none under the EJ0. Block allocation. On the thin, uh, on the first write, on the lazy zero, at the creation of time, and same with the EJ0. Zeroing of the disks. On the first write, it takes place at thin provisioning and lazy zero. But uh, if we talk about the EJ zero, it will take place at the creation of time. So that's all with the VM disks.